So I have a battery that I've hooked up to the VAT meter to test and see if it's going to pass a load test. So I've got the VAT meter here. It's already reading 12.4, which is a little low, but it doesn't guarantee that there's a problem. I put my amp clamp on the negative terminal, so the, so the little arrow is always pointing towards the negative terminal. So that would point towards the negative terminal, and if I wanted to put it on the positive side, I'd have to point it away from here because it's going the other way towards the negative terminal. Since we can put it on there nicely and it'll balance, I'm going to do my load test, which is half the cold cranking amps. This one's 950, so 475 cold cranking amps for 15 seconds. Can't drop below 9.6. Let's give it a shot here. Uh, I can't get, I can only get uh, 375, she's dropped to 8, I'm going to abort the test. It's not going to work. So what I need to do is charge this battery. So I'm going to disconnect my load test. So leave that right there. And I have a battery charger here, and it is currently turned off. I got the fan running, but that's okay. And I'm going to hook up the battery. So take my red terminal. And I'm going to hook it to the positive terminal. I can see a plus on the battery here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my ground terminal. Now, I'm ensuring my charger is off because this is dangerous if you leave your charger on while you're charging because there will be a spark. There's still a spark. Something's not right. So, this being a dead battery, I'm going to turn on the charger. I'll just give you a look at the charger here. I'm going to turn on the charger for 80 minutes. And I'm going to put it on medium. I'm watching the amperage. So I'm up around 25 amps, which seems a little uh, high at the moment. But we'll give it a second, and it may drop down, because it just may be that this battery is really dead. Uh, 20, uh, I'm going to actually adjust it. 20 uh, amps for 30 minutes should be okay. You don't want to overheat the battery. Anything over 151 degrees is overheating. It will destroy the battery. And so we don't want to do that. We want to start a slow charge. We're going to leave this for a few hours, two or three hours, and then we'll come back and we'll retest this battery to see if it possibly uh, will pass a uh, test. So we're just going to call it right now. Get back there. We're just going to leave this battery on here right now, and we'll come back in three hours and see if it, if it passes a test.